Hey Farm Hands, Farm Marie here. How's everybody doing tonight? So, we got the little mini hull filled here all underway. I had to do a few changes. Uh, if you guys can see right now, the tank is uh, actually it's full of water. I did the plumbing and um, there was no leaks at all, so it worked out perfectly. In a minute, I'm gonna bring you guys up close. I'm gonna show you around. Um, and the other thing that I end up, uh, end up doing is, um, you remember the little mini, mini sump I built right here? So there was one little problem. Um, Everything was great, held water, it was perfect, but this the little uh, return pump from Tunzi that I had, it's too loud, because when I had it sitting here on my desk, and when I tried it out, it's just too loud, it just keeps buzzing, zzz, humming. So what I did is I just ended up getting, um, I had an instant ocean um, uh, pail left, and what I did is I just put the, all the gear in there, underneath my desk, so I don't have to hear it, it's a real annoying sound, and plus, when I get my other uh, tanks all set up here in my office uh, that's coming up, you guys are gonna see, I'm actually just gonna run my lines into that sump and it can just feed off the system and I won't even have to touch this or open it up. It'll just go into the big sump through the skimmer and clean it and it'll just sit here on my desk as an ornament and we can watch the little fish and uh, corals that are in there just grow. Yeah, so that's where we are. It's end up turning out perfectly. It glows like crazy underneath the blues. I'm very happy with it. I probably almost have like two inches of sand in here. I just got a piece of dead uh, coral skeleton and um, it's branching out, but it, I'm so pleased with it. The paint job turned out, it's amazing. And uh, I'm just loving it right now. So I'll bring you in, show you a little bit of uh, what's going on here. And um, I end up, it's, it's full of water, like I said. And I, what I did is I did a water change on uh, my Yoda build. So all the bacteria that was in there and that water change, came into here so there was no like, uh, you know, new tank syndrome. But even with the other tank with the Yoda, I ended up using the, the Fritz Design 9. Even after you do your first water change on your tank with this stuff, add a little bit more bacteria in there to make sure to keep it populated. And I added just a little bit of the Fritz Design 9 into the Mini Hulk as well. Why not? It's there to use. So, a few things going forward. What do you guys think? What kind of uh, gobies and uh, corals do you guys want to see this? Put that in those comments in below and um, make sure and leave them there guys. I enjoy talking to you guys and asking any questions you guys have. Ask away and um, I'll do my best at answering them. So just put those comments in below. Which fish that you want to see in here and what corals, all right? Who's ever first to comment on this video, I'm going to send you uh, one of my new stickers, uh, Farm Bar Reef stickers. They're pretty awesome and you guys can stick it on your sumps or wherever you want. So whoever does the first comment is going to win that sticker. All right, guys? You can see I ended up using the, the AI26 HD. It's pretty overkill for this. I had it here laying around, so that's why I put it on. So the, the top of the tanks are here and if I pull off, it's definitely going to glow a lot more as you can see. Um, you can, there's the little Hulk hair, it turned out pretty good that Dina did. Um, so I'm thinking if we do like a goby pear in here, and maybe like a pistol shrimp with some zoanthids, I think it'd be pretty sweet because they don't grow, they don't take up much room, and they don't create that much waste. Um, with this one here, but I was going to put that skimmer on here, you guys saw in the last episode. I ended up not putting it, I ended up, I uh, had an extra Tunzi skimmer that I just put in the pail. It's the, the dock skimmer, the DC one, and it's in there right now. So I can control it. It's just temporary. I got the heater in there, the skimmer, and that little mini return pump. So it's just I had it laying around. Why not use it until I end up putting it on my other system? Um, any drawbacks that I can see that's going to be on this tank? Maybe cleaning the inside of the glass. I'm going to have to get some kind of uh, I don't know. Maybe just with a rag with a stick on it so I can get in around the curvature of it to do that. And that I didn't use this little sump ball. I'll just use it on my desk put pens in or whatever. It like it, it glows pretty cool too. So come on in guys, let's check out uh, a little bit of the plumbing and where it all goes. And then any upcoming videos for this tank is gonna be the fish, coral growth, and we can check it all out. So I'm excited to see where this little tank's gonna go. So now that we got the mini hulk gets up and running, um, the Yoda tank gets up and running, and then I just had to finish all my other tanks, and we got all different kinds of videos that are gonna coming up, and it'll be lots of fun. So come on in, guys, let's check it out. All right, so here it is. Well, one other thing, if you wanna go on uh, my channel on YouTube, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, get that notification, so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. I greatly appreciate that. So let's just let the glow go down a little bit. Boom, there it is. I just gotta clean inside the glass a little bit, but so there's the dead coral I put in there. And um, I got like a little bit, almost two inches of sand, so that's good. So we get the bacteria, it was natural. 
Um, you guys see in the top here. So there's the little return from my other videos. There's the, re not the return, but the overflow, little mini overflow. And then you guys see that black uh, quarter inch uh, RO line that comes up right, right in behind the coral there from the bottom. And it gets lots of flow and how I can control the flow. If we go back here, I end up just taking the RO line and I took the little, uh, from the Tunzi skimmer, this little valve so I can adjust the flow and it's got quite a bit of flow. Like we can actually like make the sand move. So if I open this up, watch the sand in that corner. See it? Look at that. It's just going and the overflow is keeping up with it. See that? You might actually start to hear it a little bit. But so we're just blowing sand right now. So I'm getting a good flow in there, but I don't want that much in it disturbing that sand. So I'm gonna just uh, turn it back down again a little bit until I get it where I want. So there you go. So it's gonna be a lot clearer in this because I end up, I just filled it up and the flow's going and then the protein skimmer can uh, clean that out. But it all turned out really nice. See how like, see the paint job? It's glowing like the Hulk and we got the purple like the Hulk. Oh, and then Ashton, he made me a little, see this little mini Hulk out of clay. He's pretty cool, I set him there. All the way on the sides and then the 26, AIHD, and my little buddy over here. So it really, uh, it really glows. So let's go down here now. So I end up, I just got this bucket. This is a homemade sump for now until I, uh, so this homemade sump until I end up getting it plumbed this all into my other system. So this is this dock skimmer. I just cut a hole in the top of the, in the top just to get the sound to cut down. And then there's the skimmer. So this is really overkill. And then this is, uh, that's the overflow pipe right there into the top. I'll open this up in one minute. But that definitely keeps the sound down. So you got lots of water in there. And uh, so the leak of the parameters won't change too much. That definitely makes it a lot better and uh, easier to maintain. The only thing I need to hook up to this right now is just some RO water just to top it up. So right for evaporation. And right here we got full control for the skimmer. Definitely uh, a lot of overkill on this, but I got it, so why not just use it? So that's pretty much that uh, the build, guys. You guys can see, remember we drilled the holes in the back, and that's where the plumbing goes right in there. This is a bracketer here from d and I just screwed to a four x four, painted it to match my desk, screwed it to it to hook uh, the 26 on there. So that's that guys, so she's all built up now. She's holding water, it's painted, it's plumbed. So hopefully, let's say this week, you guys leave your comments below which fish you wanna see in there and what corals, and I'll do my best to get uh, those in there. So I got my app open right now. So if I wanna bring all my brights on, all my whites, on the controls, and turn those off, get our blues. Keep dropping them, dropping them some more. And there's your purples. Pretty cool, eh, guys? Farm hands. So thanks for coming by and uh, checking out the little mini hulk, the little desk build. Turned out perfect. Can't complain. So upcoming videos. Let's get some fish and some corals in here. Check it out, and we can keep touching base now and then, and uh, see how little mini hulk's doing. But uh, I got lots of other stuff coming up, guys. I end up I got to put some uh, more tanks here in the house, and I can't wait to get building. So. Make sure if you guys can please subscribe and hit that like button, it's greatly appreciated. So remember, first person that leaves that comment is gonna get a new sticker from Farm Boy Reef. You put it on your sump. Just make sure you get that and I will message you on there. I'll get your address and I can hook you up. So please subscribe and hit that like button.